Man, it's being weak, guys. Um, you know, I know I'm trying to document this, so, <clears throat> you know, it'd be important, I guess, to get the um, psychological aspect of it in there, too, you know. It's not easy. I don't want to make any more videos. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I feel like you want to give up. That's how it feels. This is the only medicine I take. Um, you know, the VA knows that. I told them I, last night I was sober over a year. I don't think they believe me. <laughs> I don't think they believe me. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I'm just getting that. Um, I don't know. Just uh, the, some of these physical signs are starting to worry me. Um, because I've been in this concussion so long, you know, like this foggy headedness or like, you know, looking at something, no one should look at it. And then all of a sudden it just goes blank and you have no clue. I mean, it could be an animal. It could be your fingers. It could be a TV. It could be, so, God knows what you're looking at. Cause you don't know. Um, that sucks. Uh, um, again, all this being intermittent with the physical outward signs sucks because it's just hard to peg down, you know? Um, um yeah. I wouldn't say I'm depressed, but I'm certainly, I know what depressed looks like and feels like, and I'm teetering at the moment. And it's funny because <coughs> um, that feeling makes you want to just stop makes you afraid i haven't been afraid i feel fear um you know again this all you know this really broke me down up at the va um guys uh you know my dad was there um and he can't even understand it you know uh You know, so just remember these institutions, the way we believe and think is because we are programmed a certain way to believe and think in, in such a manner. Well, what's going on with me right now is you break, okay, so things get broken down to their basic what's necessary and you realize everything's bullshit. Um, you realize everything's bullshit. And even though these institutions, whether it be government, you know, in that is education or, you know, healthcare, whatever, whatever, any kind of institution. Guys, if you find yourself defending an institution over a loved one, you better really think about what you're doing think very hard what you're doing when you defend an institution over a loved one <clears throat> um in institutions 
only exist if the people running them, which includes every little minion, you know, cares more about corporate policy or, you know, because these institutions, the only reason they exist is, is to save their own ass. So they don't give a fuck about anything other than that. So these employees, whether they be nurses, doctors, teachers, whatever, lawyers, soldiers, you know, following orders, that excuse only gets you so far in how you treat people. And if you find yourself treating someone and your soul or something deep inside you is knocking and going, hey, man, shit, hey, this ain't right, you know. I'm just saying, guys, be very careful defending institutions. You know? Very easy doing that. Because people are very quick to send their children off to fight foreign wars for special corporate and governmental interests. To have their children come back if they're lucky and have some sort of form of PTSD that now your government has a customer for life. There's not a pill in the world that cures anything, guys. It all masks. It masks the underlying issue. That's what it is. That's what it does. That's what pills do. So if you find yourself one day and you're like, you're looking around, you're like, oh, fuck. And you got 30 pill bottles sitting around with your name on them. You better fucking figure something out, bud. <laughs> you look around, you got two pill bottles with your name on, you better know everything about those fuckers. You better know everything, every single little cause and effect. And you know, these pills, you're only supposed to be on them. Any pill is supposed to be a short term, 30 days, 60 days, monitored, monitoring your behavior, monitoring the, your thoughts, monitoring your physicality. These things are toxic, guys. I mean, you, I'm not kidding. When I call your fucking doctor a legalized pimp and fucking pill pusher, drug dealing, pill popping, pill, pimp is what your doctor is. And it's a legalized, guys, just because it's legalized. Look, you know, we, there was such a stigma for so long, of, you know, heroin addicts, crackheads, all these other things, right? Because this shit was against the law to do, but there wasn't a stigma about alcoholics, you know? Just because they say something's legal, guy, this is all a game. It's all a game. So if you find yourself playing this game and your spirit is tugging at you, telling you're doing something wrong, you're doing something wrong. And you need to fucking slow the fuck down and stop. And do a uh, a review, a real deep review and try to figure this shit out. If you find yourself defending institutions over your family, one of them's got to go. One of them's wrong. Something's wrong here. You know what I mean? I have to put my dad on blast. So take my dad for example, okay? Um, he's watched every Redskins football game that's ever been played in, since he's been alive. But will he take a couple hours and watch some videos to see what's going on with me? No. Why? Programming. It's been programmed. 
you know, and once you've been programmed for that long, guys, once you've been in that program for that long and you've been on the medicine and you've been taking, because see, these pills, what these pills do too, this other effect that these pills have, especially after taking them for so long, it starts calcifying, it calcifies certain things in your body. Um, you know, like your pineal gland, if you don't know what that is. Um, basically what it does, is it, it, it stops you from thinking for yourself. And now you are just, a, you know, a part of the system, part of the matrix. You just, you know, you have a program and you just roll with it. And anything that goes against that program, you just go, Ooh, oh, oh, oh. you know, and you don't want to deal with it. Uh, you don't know how to deal with it because it doesn't fit into the program, you know? And so my dad, my dad probably sits there and looks at me. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Everything about him, you know, he's, he's, everything the program tells me, he's, he's just a crazy fucker that needs to get committed. I mean, that's got to be what's going through his head, you know? But he knows that's not who I am, so it's got to be a fucking mind fuck for him. So before you program yourself for 60 years, guys, and take all the pills and believe all the lies and believe all the bullshit and give up all your sovereignty and freedom and individuality and critical thinking and, and all of that, before you give all that up, because once you give it up, it, you, it, it's almost impossible to get back. It's, it's very hard to get back. Um, so, yeah. Be aware, man. Don't if somebody tells you something, and it sounds like bullshit. It's bullshit. You know. Go with your gut instinct. Have mercy. Have compassion on people. You know. Quit defending institutions. Quit thinking you've got to kill somebody or hurt somebody to make things better. Okay. Because if you're thinking that, your brain is stuck, your mind is stuck, and therefore everything else is stuck, you've, you've now put a halt. You've stopped your spiritual, spiritual growth. You are no longer going to grow as a human the way we were intended to. Be aware. Don't be lazy. Don't give up your freedoms because you want to feel safe. Don't give up your individuality and your own thoughts. Nobody, look guys, the only thing we have, we, nobody can tell you what to put on or in your body. That's the way the world, that's why life works. Nobody can do that unless you are a prisoner. And then if they are able to do that, then you are a prisoner. Then it's got to be stated that you are a prisoner. You have to, you cannot, do not lie to yourself. If you are allowing something to put something on you or in you without your permission, without your consent, but you're allowing it, but you'd rather not do it, but you're allowing it, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have now given up your own individual sovereignty. You are a slave. You have now become a slave. You were probably, oh, you were already a slave. You have just made it physically known. You are letting everybody else know that, hey, I'm a slave. You have one right as a human, as a free human. And that is to dictate what goes on your body and in your body. If you are allowing somebody else to dictate what goes on or in your body, you are no longer a free human. You are a slave. That's fine. If you want to be a slave, be a slave. This is where the problem lies. This is where the problem lies, guys. Not in that decision. The problem lies if you're sitting here and you put something on your body that somebody told you to and you refuse to believe that you're a slave. That's the problem. Don't lie to yourself.
Don't lie to those around you because nothing gets better, guys. The, the, you start stacking those lies on top of lies, nothing gets better. Quit lying to yourself. Quit lying to others. Let's have some openness. Let's be honest. It hurts. Got to, you know, we are all got our flaws. But guys, we got to quit lying. We got to quit playing this game. You know, because they're pit, they, they, everything's set up to pit us against each other. Don't you understand? Don't you see that? Everything is set up to pit and make us argue. They, they have literally, in, they have introduced a new mechanism called the face diaper to where that has become an issue that we can be divided on. If they can divide us on a piece of cloth that goes over our mouths and our faces and inhibits our breathing and causes people with PTSD and other issues like this and concussive symptoms to really have severe issues, to have people with anxiety, to have people with, I mean, this is crazy, guys. You gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta understand. Do not allow this to happen. And the only way it happens, the only way these institutions, and because of what people want to say is, well, that's just the way it is. You got to do it. The only way it is the way it is is because everybody complies. If you say no, the only way they can get you to do something that you tell somebody no is through force, physical force. And if it comes to that, then you really got to think to yourself, if somebody is physically forcing you, to put something on or in to your fucking body, guys. Come on, please use your common sense. Please tell me that this isn't falling on deaf ears. Please tell me you guys are not thinking I have lost it. Yes, I am. Dude, I am deep, deep in some trauma here. But, dude, I mean, to make this much common sense, brother... Y'all know this is the God's honest truth. And wake up. Wake up, guys. Quit being lazy. Quit giving up your individuality. Quit giving up your freedom. Especially if you have kids. If you have kids, oh my God, have mercy on your soul. Because you're setting you're setting an example for your children. So think about this. If you want to choose the slave mentality. And you want to give up all your individual rights and freedoms? Be very careful. At least make sure that you explain to your child that he or she has an option. Okay? And then that they're not a, a product of the state. They don't belong to a corporation. They don't... None of that bullshit. Careful, guys. Everything you do, everything you do matters. Everything you do matters. Be aware of what you do. Like I said, either way, whatever you want to do, be fine with it, but don't lie about it. All right? Food for thought. Let's get better. Love y'all.